Hey everybody, this is Birch. Um, you know, Marvel, the world outside your window. Uh, bit, I've debated that a few times lately. They came up briefly on a stream I was on uh, a week ago or so. Um, and it was, you know, should Marvel be more like the world outside your window? And the answer is, um, I, in my view, is kind of no. But it, it depends on what you mean by that. And, and you know, I think the way that it, it's, you know, the, the example I would give is this one. I don't believe, you know, opinion of me, I don't believe that comic books that are, you know, meant to live on forever. So I'm talking about, you know, Marvel, DC, if the, uh, you know, things like The Walking Dead, stuff where there's, a, uh, you know, The Walking Dead doesn't terribly count, but where, you, you know, you're, you're going to have, a, you know, many, many years of comics in this run. If you're doing a little indie comic, you, you know, do whatever you want and, you know, but you don't, you don't have to live with kind of continuity and all that. But Marvel and DC, um, because they go on forever, I don't believe they should use uh, actual, you know, the, you know, politicians, real life politicians, as the president, mayor, etc. in their comics. I don't think Trump should be in there. I don't think Barack Obama should be in there. I don't think, uh, you know, Biden should be in there. I don't think, you know, de Blasio or Cuomo should be in there. I think that it's better. I like it better. When the uh, characters are, uh, you know, completely fictional, and I say this for a few reasons. Uh, one, I think it it helps the comic be more evergreen when they do this. I also think um, the temptation for the writer to start to, you know, insert kind of their political views of these individuals into the the comic gets very very high when you start to, you know, have real life characters in the comics. And then you're, you know, you're putting a burden on the artist to try and render the person well. The artist typically, you know, renders the uh, celebrity to look really like they're they're either tracing it or they're. It just it always looks weird, in the context of um, you know the the rest of the comic. Um, Huberto Ramos uh, did uh, a couple of these where I think it was Obama. I may be wrong, but anyway, there was a couple of people that were celebrities in, in his comic and he kept it in his style. And I was like, wow, good for you. You know, most people don't. So it, it just, from a visual standpoint, it often looks jarring to me. Um, and then, uh, you know, I, I just, I just think it's a bad idea. I think the comics should not use those real life characters. I think they should keep it all fictional. Um, the argument and kind of the, the counter argument to that is that the, uh, the if we're going to hold the truth of the world outside your window, then you need to use these real life celebrities. You need to use you know Obama because he is the president. So you know you shouldn't have J. Jonah Jameson and you know Kingpin and Luke Cage becoming mayor because that's that's not the world outside your window. And I'd push back on that a little bit, going, look, we've got you know we got superheroes flying around. We got you know the Baxter Building, or you know we've got. We got various things going on um, throughout comics that are, you know, interacting with our world. The world outside your window is not meant to be literal. It, what it meant to be is like, we're going to tackle some, you know, real life situations. We're going to be, we're going to make it a little bit more grounded. We're going to uh, every now and then steer into something like, I don't know, poverty or homelessness or, you know, the, themes like that. We're going to, we're going to talk about kind of we're going to think about how you would feel as a citizen if a superhero was running around, you know, in your world. We're going to start we're going to play with those things. And that's what world outside your window was meant to mean. It wasn't meant to mean we're going to you know give you exactly what's outside your window, because, you know, there are lots of windows in this country, in lots of states with lots of different neighborhoods. And so, you know, it, it, it's just it's a dumb thing to chase. If you're selling a comic that's meant to be distributed globally, you know, so I, I think that that's, that's to me how I take world outside your window. And I don't think that the, you know, the, that it's meant to be, it's meant to be so uh, literally taken, but, um, you know, I, I do think there's just an argument to be made that, you know, we should separate, you know, some of these characters. I, th this came up because people were complaining of, you know, Luke Cage being mayor is dumb. You know, that that breaks the illusion of world outside your window. And I do, I, I agree to some extent that it it takes a couple steps away from what I just described because now you've got a, you know, superhero in government 
and they're trying to now mash up government things with superhero things and it's starting to kind of warp what government is i mean like it it just there i it's a slippery slope for sure uh but i also think you know you could get some interesting stuff out of it now with of the three people and you had uh luke cage and you had kingpin i think the only one that marvel really did anything terribly interesting with was kingpin i think that having a kind of villainous mayor who was like you know being a thorn in the hero's side but doing it legally uh created some interesting stories and i think marvel sort of took advantage of that a little bit um the luke cage's mayor seems to be an excuse to have him show up in comics every now and then in a suit and do things i think uh thunderbolts the recent limited series gave us a little bit more but you know you're kind of wanting to see luke cage you know do something you know interesting i i, I don't know they they need to they just kind of have him being a girl like i'm having to run this city <laughs> like that's like you know now he's no longer luke cage to a large extent um you know i i think that that's something that the writers need to work on uh whenever they do these big kind of changes they seem to take away the character's personality in the process it's not unlike what happened with uh sam wilson falcon when they made him captain america suddenly he's he's like a drill sergeant and you're, you're like wait a minute that's not that doesn't line up with uh sam wilson the comic character i understand it lines up better with sam wilson the mcu character but you know the comic character that's that's not really accurate at all like why is he suddenly like i i don't know it, it just bugs me i've, I've mentioned this for like on your six come on file up formation under me it's like well hold on that's not you never talked like this before did they did they do a personality change on you when you became captain america i think the same thing is true whenever you take superheroes and you put them in these roles suddenly they they become less themselves and you know for the readers of these comics one of the cool things about seeing them in these roles is that you know we get it we we see themselves we see you know it's like hey i like luke cage as a character um, I'm curious to see how Luke Cage will handle it in this situation. You know, I, that's, that's part of the charm of, uh, doing this status quo change in the first place. Uh, but you know, so you, you put him as mayor and then suddenly you change him to a, kind of a generic mayor figure. I, I mean, I don't know, you're, you're kind of ruining, you're ruining the whole thing at that point. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think overall, um, you know, the, the idea of, making the comics uh super hyper realistic again i i think it's uh it's a trap half the time and i think it's uh it's it's a bad idea if you take everything like i said incredibly literally i think it's it wasn't meant to ever be that i think you uh you know you 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 struggle with the st with stories you wind up changing the characters around i mean let let the characters it is a fantasy universe and i think marvel you know, use that for a period of time to make themselves, you know, maybe look more clever than they are, or just, just like our, our comics relate to real life. It's like, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they, they do. They also, you know, they also relate to having, you know, Galactus come and like hover over New York city and say, he's going to eat the planet. So, I mean, I, I hear you with the, uh, you know, with the, with the real life stuff, but at the same time, you know, uh, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm not entirely sure that uh, you're you're really living up to this world as I your window dream, but but there you go. I don't know. What about you? Do you like uh, how how real world how real world do you want your comics? How outside your window do you want them? Uh, do you does it bother you when uh, real life characters show up in comics? Did you love that Hellfire Gala and all those celebrity appearances? Maybe uh, maybe maybe you love that, and I'm just uh, you know peeing in your cereal at this point. Anyway, Perch D Perchington out. Thanks for listening.